that brought our race to a stop. There's Andrea Montermini in the Pacific. Remains to be seen if he's going to make the starting grid. There is Massimiliano Papis in the white car. The footwork on the left, on the right. Jules Bouillon climbing for the Sauber. There is Montermini in the Pacific pits talking to his crew. And here are the Ferrari wins at Monza over the years. They won twice in the 50s, four times in the 60s, three more times in the 70s, just once in the 80s. That was Gerhard Berger's surprise victory in 1988 when Ayrton Senna spun himself out of the race. And of course, Ferrari has yet to win here at Monza in the 90s. Now, I suspect Montermini is shaking his head because he does not have a backup car and will not be a part of this race. And that is, you know, really is a breaker for, for Pacific because they really need to be out there trying to scratch up points wherever they go. I don't know how they survive from race to race. I really don't know. But I know they get a lot of support. Bernie Eccleston helps a lot of the smaller teams to keep them there, to give them that encouragement. Another look at the, the uh, initial start. As you can see, the front was fairly slow to get away. Eddie Irvine way over there on the left in the Jordan Peugeot. They are revving to about 16,700 RPM with those V10 engines. Michael Schumacher, once he did get underway, was able to rocket forward. Johnny Herbert got away to a great start. That's him, you see, locking up the brakes there at the first chicane. Coming from as far back as he did, he was going at a pretty good old clip by the time they reached that chicane. By the way, in the morning warm-up before the race began, as you see the Pacific coming in with the back deranged, among the quick cars, all the usual heavy hitters. Jean Alesi quickest, David Coulthard second, Gerhard Berger third, followed by Schumacher and Hill. Damon Hill has been making confident noises all weekend, despite the fact that he's not been at the top of the timesheets at any point. Among those who did not do well in the morning,